Welcome to this Footer Pro tutorial video where I am going to show you how to integrate Footer Pro with my very own Depth for Rapid Weaver. So let's get into it. Over here, this is a depth. Uh, this is included when you uh, purchase depth. It's the uh, like a demo project file. Uh, it's just a mini site. And there, I removed the uh, footer that's in this project file because this is where I'm going to show how to integrate Footer Pro. So um, let's go to the app and let's go find us a footer. Now, normally you would uh, you can make a footer. That's uh, totally you know how it would go. Um, but for uh, just speeding up production for this video, I'm going to choose a theme. These are pre-made templates of uh, very popular footers that exist on the web today. So the one I'm going to choose for now is Brand Beat. Now, I like this design. I think it'll work well with this uh, example site that I have published here. But let's say I wanted to preview what this would look like with BrandBeat. Well, you can do this very easily by clicking the frame tool. And then I'm going to grab the URL to my work in progress website. And I'm going to paste it into here. And now, I can uh, see a in-context view of um, the demo website and what that's going to look like with this footer. So uh, yeah, there's some spacing issues. Like I would probably tighten up this right here, which can be done, um, you know, by clicking the settings and editing them. But just for now, for this video, I want to show integration. And so let's uh, let's dig into how to do that. Let's just say I'm like this is ready to go for my website. Uh, we are going to um, export this code. Now, Footer Pro generates HTML and CSS, and that is everything that is needed to create this footer right here. So we're going to now bring these two code boxes, copy this code, and bring it into Rapweaver. So I'm going to open up the Rapweaver project, and this is the same site uh, you just saw. Uh-oh, it's already here. <laughs> I was supposed to remove that. <laughs> Oh man, it's not as polished as uh, as as it looks, guys. Okay, so let's take this out. Uh, let's uh, see what this goes. Okay, so this is where we're supposed to be. <laughs> okay, so Footer Pro is uh, now removed from the bottom here. You can see it now matches up with uh, this example demo site that I've done. Um, so bringing this back up. Uh, I'm going to now, uh, for integration, I'm going to go to the settings code and the body uh, tab is what I want. And what I'm going to put in there is the generated HTML. So I'm going to copy this HTML and I'm going to paste it right there. And it's a lot, but it's all uh, valid, uh, good footer code. And then I'm going to go to the CSS box. I'm going to paste that and that is all that really is all so now let's uh, minimize this and there's our footer looking good looking good and if we uh, add the inspector you can see this is mobile responsive guys it's totally ready to go and there is no further setup that is needed. That really is the entire integration. And because we've added it to the settings code, um, these two code boxes get generated for every single page of our site. So let's go to the blog. Now see it's at the bottom of the blog. So just by uh, just copy and pasting into those two boxes, you have you are done with integration. You can publish this and you are pretty good to go. Now let's say that you wanted to um, edit this footer, um, which is, you know, you're probably going to want to edit it at some point. Um, let's get into how to do that. So if I restart this footer pro, notice how there's an import feature right here as you begin um, working with footer pro. We're gonna click this and now we have an HTML and CSS box. Let's go to the settings code and let's uh, first grab all this HTML and paste it into here and then Footer Pro is going to look at the code and validate it to make sure it is Footer Pro code. Uh, you can't just stick any Footer code, it has to be made by Footer Pro for it to validate. Uh, the next thing is we're going to grab all the styles uh, used for it 
And then that's gonna validate, and then we're gonna load that in. And there it is, guys. You can now go back to editing this. And uh, yeah, see how I've edited just to say hello here. And then when I'm done, I can go back to exporting it. Um, and I just changed the, the textures, which is just HTML. It's not a style related thing. So I can copy that, go back into the body, highlight and override it. I've replaced it with the new code. And so now we should see hello at the very bottom of the website and there it is. So that's how that works. That's how you maintain footers with Footer Pro is by using the import feature. And uh, I'm gonna close this out and uh, just say that if you ever are using Footer Pro and you ever get stuck or you wanna know um, how you know certain settings work or uh, you know you wanna learn um, deeper advanced features, uh, there is a full documentation when you click the help uh, button in the toolbar. Uh, you can just type in what you're looking for and chances are there's great documentation for it. Uh, like for editing footer columns, there is a lot uh, that I get into there. Um, also, the last thing is uh, for this video, I uh, grabbed a quick theme and a premium theme at that. Uh, so that was one feature. And then the other thing I used was the frame feature. And then another feature I used was the import feature. All three of these, so premium themes, frame, and import, these are um, all features within Footer Pro that are available with an unlocked Pro account. You can use Footer Pro for free. You can make footers and export footers for free. Um, that's you know totally fine. You could still you know, use it for all your Rap Weaver projects, not a problem. Um, but if you want to use those features that we covered in this video, it does require a yearly subscription at a modest price. And uh, that's it, folks. Otherwise, you can check out footerpro.com for more information. Thanks for watching, guys.